Hello, everyone. This is a uh, a thing that we're trying out here. Now, the only one you're going to be able to hear very well is the person with this microphone. And so far, that's me. But, you know, our little topic here is apples. You, re- you ready to start? Let's go. Apples. Let's apples. think about apples. <laughs> what? I haven't liked apples as much as I used to. I feel like apples used to be better, and now apples aren't as good. That's how I feel about apples right now. I mean, this is a little more somber than we wanted. I'm really sorry. Here, do you have any thoughts about apples? I lived in Olympia, and when I lived there, I shopped at Thriftway. And they had this fruit you could purchase there. And I don't know if it's still around anymore, but it was spelled G R A. P P L E and it was an apple that tasted just like a grape. It's a grapple. And and, and we all was argued is it a grapple or a grapple? Oh damn. You think I said grapple. Grapple. Grapples. But they said they were called grapples when I asked at the store and I didn't I didn't personally like that. I don't shop at that thrift way anymore. Going back to the gra- grapple, grapple, grapple things, grapple things. We're just gonna. I just have to say, we're gonna grapple onto someone, <laughs> <laughs> and you never gotta let go. No, you grapple onto them, and you never let go. Just like the, just like the grapples. Yeah. And also, I have to say one, one more thing about grapple apples. My memory. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, and I have to say one more thing about apples. Them honey crisp are crisp. Honey crisp. I'm gonna say that I do like honey crisp apples. Oh damn! All right. You know, I did say I was talking shit about apples earlier, and uh, now I guess it's actually kind of it's maybe even worse because I only like honey crisp apples. They've made other apples inferior, so I almost wish they like never, never appeared. So, not everyone knows this, but Pixie, my turtle, has apple preferences, as you and I do. But for whatever reason, she likes either Fuji apples um, or uh, Gala apples. She does not like Granny Smith apples. She does not like Red Delicious apples. She's very picky about her apples. So if you have a turtle out there, folks... Pay attention to what kind of apples they like. I just have to say that the apples at school suck and they need to not exist because that schnaz doesn't even taste like apples. What the heck? I mean, what did you do to the dang apples to make them taste like crap? Think about it. Think about it. I think it's because they store them in... um, don't they store apples in big nitrogen warehouses in like giant barns full of some sort of gas? Why would you do that? To apples? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to ship them. Season. Yeah. So you can have apples you can have all apples. year round. Yeah. So I'm sorry. They taste like shit. The cost of year round apples are that they taste like shit now. <laughs> They are not okay. I mean, like, not really. Okay, so here's something I've wanted to do, and I think it's a good idea, and we should look into doing it, is to start with a, a, like a, what the hell are they called? Like a veggie program, you know? Where you pay, like, like CSA veggies, like, two, three hundred dollars a year. You go once a week or once every other week to a pickup spot, and you pick up a crate of veggies and fruits. They're all local and seasonal so the thing is you have to like you know you might get squash for three months and you eat squash for three months you know and then you might get apples for two months and that's all you get is apples but it's the best apples and it's really inexpensive so something to think about do that that actually should be done in like schools and stuff because then hey 
you, guys, you got these good apples. Like, you got real good apples. And then other days you're like, you're getting squash. Yeah. Too bad, you're getting squash. True, squash is pretty good if prepared correctly. Yeah, which is rare. Yeah. I will say I have, I will say I have rarely enjoyed squash. The times that I have, it's not been mushed up. It's been cubed. I think in like Thai curry and stuff. I have to say, you do make, you do make good like food. Right. Like, yeah. You tend to like shrimp, you make better. And squash is like that for me. It's like I can't do the, the usual way of cooking squash is putting it in the oven and then putting butter and cinnamon on it mm. and I, no, and then no, cooking no, it no. till it's squishy and then you yeah. squish it and stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not into that. Wait, no, it, oh. Oh, we're going around. Sorry. I have to say that because I did CSA veggies for a number of years, I can cook some weird things that you might not know. Like, I can cook a squash pretty well. I can make beets pretty well. I can do lots of things with green beans. So just because I don't cook meat, like, I was a vegetarian for, like, a number of years or a mostly vegetarian for a good chunk of my life. So if we get veggies like that, I know how to make a lot of things. No, but I going back on the squash thing you were talking about, I have to say, hearing you just talk about squishy squash was just making me uncomfortable. <laughs> just like they squish it up. Yeah, yeah. With, they, they cook it and then they squish it up. <laughs> they make it with cinnamon. <laughs> then they squish it. Yes, they do. They squish it. They just take a spoon and they just squish it down and just mush it around and then just slather it all over the place, you know? Yeah. And then... <laughs> <laughs> then they throw some butter on top. <laughs> what type of butter? Okay, so I like to take a squash and rather than do any of those horrible things with it, I like to just kind of cut it open like a pumpkin, take some of the innards out, and then use them to make a paste... With mushroom, amazingly enough, sausage, some spicy sausage, and some cubed apple pieces. And then bake it. Put a little bit of some sort of cheese on top, like a gorgonzola. Pretty damn good. I have to say, my mouth was watery. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome for that <laughs> wisdom of... Squash. <laughs> squash brought to you by Death Clam Games. <laughs> and apples. Let me see. There are so many different ways you can prepare squash and other things. Baked squash, barbecue squash, and uh. Peppermint squash. <laughs> Rutabaga squash. 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 Wait, wait, you got something to learn? No, I just want to get in on this. Squash. 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 <laughs> I have to say that was amazing and I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it now. Squash. <laughs> Squash. I'm not having it. Squash. You want to know how deep this is getting? Mm -hmm. Squash. <laughs> I'm going to get deep with squash right now. Are you ready? You ready? Mm -hmm. I just squashed your dreams. <laughs> that was hurtful. You're welcome. Squash. Oh.
<laughs> Squash the musical. Squish it up. Squish it up. Squash. That sounded like a Christmas song. Oh. Squish it up. Squish it up. I'm dreaming of a white squish mice Just like the squash I used to grow (laughs) That was beautiful. Truly, truly a remarkable (laughs) Remarkable, remarkable remarkable performance by uh, you. All right, that was our that was our wonderful talk about. Uh, I was on the wrong side of the green. <laughs> that was our wonderful talk about apples, which turned into a remarkable talk about squashes. <laughs> so, <laughs> squishes. I forgive me, my good children. So we'll see you sometime soon, maybe. Ninety-nine percent sure. So bye.